Hi everyone, all right, we are in our very confined space at the moment, doing something a little bit different today. Thought we would do um, our version of an unboxing video. We've just got back from purchasing two new snakes. Actually, they are Marcus's snakes um, and something new, certainly for him, something we haven't maintained or I haven't maintained for many, many years. So really excited to get these guys out. So thanks to Ron who looked after us this, uh, looked after us this afternoon, really obliging great wealth of knowledge, so very much appreciative, and also for rearing such stunning snakes. So uh, we'll get this underway. So hopefully um, hopefully the videos are good. It's a real rush job. So we'll get these guys out, put them in the new enclosures. So this is, as they come out, uh, we haven't even sort of identified which is uh, female. We've bought a pair of these particular animals. I'm not going to give it away just yet what they are. You might want to have a bit of a guess as they come out. These have been in captivity now, born in captivity, uh, raised for about six years um, by a very experienced keeper. So they are quite good handlers, quite well behaved. We're not going to muck around too much with them. But we will get them up and have a bit of a look. We've got cages up here ready to go. We're going to put them in. So we'll just sort of get one up in the cage already. Now these cages are going to be very foreign to these animals. Uh, so the smells are going to be very, very foreign. Um, so we'll get them in there and let them do their thing without too much disturbance. Some of you have probably already guessed what they are, but they are not maybe what some people think they are. So we'll put that one straight in there. So Marcus, I don't know whether you bothered to take note, but I certainly didn't know whether that was the male or the female as yet. No. But we'll get in there with the second one and see we are trying to be relatively cautious here. We'll get this second cage open and ready but we'll try and have a bit of a look at this guy and maybe Marcus if I we do a bit of a swap I'll give you the camera oh, all right and we'll just try and pause this one coming out a bit so we can give it a bit of a look into the camera depending on how it he or she is feeling you got that tail there beautiful all right now we'll just get it up on the hook we'll just keep it out for a second and we'll try and I'm going to camera I'll just I'll get it up mate if you wouldn't mind yep and if we get it up into some light so we're dealing with an animal that doesn't know where it is, but so right here, what we have, guys, is a member of the Sudecus family, Sudecus catartus. This is the spotted black snake, or the some so otherwise known as the blue. Bellied black snake, clearly a member of the black snake family. Beautiful little animals. And what we'll do is, again, without too much delay, we'll put this guy in its cage where it will be. Even though they've certainly come from a very, very clean collection, we'll, try, we'll practice some good hygiene. Even though these are their long term enclosures. We will still maintain some sort of hygiene protocols. All right, so we're through glass here, but uh, this is one of our new acquisitions. Um, and being typically Sudecus with that hooded display. Again, these are, these are animals that are now probably a little bit frightened. Again, everything's very new, very foreign. They've been living a really good existence for the last half a dozen or so years. So this is all very new. So it's a bit of a shock to them. Um, I'm hoping that that comes out pretty well on the uh, phone, trying to hold it steady. So 
there's not much more to report other than that. We will give you an update when these guys sort of settle in. But for now, we'll maybe try and grab a bit of extra B-roll footage or something. But other than that, we'll catch you next time.